tech standards and composition. In industry, they will set a standard for text or lettering. And this standard helps us uh, with consistent height, consistent format, consistent text type, and its spacing. All this is so that the drawing can be legible and clear to the reader. And in AutoCAD, we're going to use fonts. Fonts is the basic shape of the letter or number. And we are actually going to use the ASME Y14.2 standard which is the line conventions and, letter, and, and lettering standard. So in that standard, ASME Y14.2, it recommends a single stroke gothic letter as the standard. Now, uh, a single stroke means that it's each stroke with a pencil, or in this case, uh, the computer, uh, and Let's take a look. So in this case, the letter A, it has three strokes of, let's say, the pencil. That doesn't mean it's triple stroke. It's still single stroke because each, each segment of the, of the letter has one stroke. So one angle for the A, one angle for the other side of the A, and one uh, line for the horizontal. It means we drew the horizontal line once. If I drew the horizontal line twice, that would be double stroke gothic lettering. So that would be six segments for the letter A if it was double stroke. And if we had triple stroke, we'd have three uh, times three, it'd be nine six uh, strokes to make that. We choose the single stroke because it's the easiest for people to read. And so therefore, uh, we have a variety of standards out there by companies, uh, by different industries, uh, but generally speaking, uh, the vertical text, this is vertical character, straight up and down versus incline, is the vertical is more standardized for most companies. There are some architectural firms that will do an incline, and it's on a tilt, so it's 68 degrees from horizontal, and some companies will actually do 75 because a little bit more tilt is harder to read. So they'll generally put less tilt to it. Our text height is generally eighth inch. Uh, we put eighth inch for most text heights. Um, and you know, that's 90% of all our text is eighth inch. We may make uh, a height of quarter inch for some titles you know, like chapter headings or something like that, you can think of it as. And uh, also, uh, when we go to put numbers, we will actually put numbers at 100% of the size. Uh, you know, we don't make the, the fraction smaller so that it's the same size as the letter. We keep it to the same size so that you can actually read it. And we use a horizontal uh, bar uh, and typically uh, a horizontal bar in our fractions so uh, these are just some of the standards that we use uh, in industry uh, so we use single stroke gothic lettering uh, and that is the standard by ASME Y14.2 uh, we typically use eighth inch tall text uh, for most of our lettering, we can do incline text, uh, but virtually most of it is vertical text. And we uh, also will do horizontal fractions, and we keep the fraction size to the same size as our standard text. Even though this shows three quarters, some companies will do that. Uh, so it's just a a way of standardizing our text so that all of our text looks like it comes from one person drawing it. So we want to make sure that we allow plenty of room for our text in our drawings. We don't want to overcrowd it. We tend to like to group text into different groupings. The eye likes groupings because it's easier to read. And uh, we'll place our general notes in one common location, um, generally in the lower left or above the title block. And that helps use 
uh, ease of use, and by all means, we will always use a spell check.